Brakati Hawu, Brakati Al Shai, Brakati Hawu, Brakati Al Shai, Brakati Hawu, Brakati Hawu, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim, Kakudash. The belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Mill, so I want you well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim. This document that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity on the preacher man. This week's topic is going to be entitled, All right, the world is waking up. All right, the world is waking up. And what inspired me to do this lesson is you had. Um, I was watching a, a video by Candace Owens, and it was entitled, all right, it was entitled, and I shared it with the brothers, it's homosexuality um, pretty much ruining the world, and she sat down with a, 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 a Christian, Jake, she's a so-called Christian herself, I don't know what the nomination, and it was just pretty much exposing how homosexuality it's just nothing but lust and nothing but sex. It was going into the destruction of the black family, all right? How easy it is to manipulate women, okay? Because women, all right, they're not the best leaders. Why? Because they're governed by their emotions, you know? And you could push, thing on, push things on women because they have so-called, so-called empathy, which I don't really think women are very empathetic of men problems. But it's sort of this, like, default empathy, like... We know, um, you know, mutilating a child at a young age and telling them they could be an opposite gender logically is not a sound thing to tell a child. But the emotion is, oh no, let them. And that's what she was exposing. And a lot of people are waking up to it like, yo, the so called white man has pulled the wool over a lot of people's faces, all right? Because all these things that they're propagating is things that we should accept and, 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 and be. Um, liberal in and proactive in doing and changing is really doing nothing but harm to the society, right? Now, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 16. It says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a pot is clay, right? And everything has been turned upside down. The scriptures also speak about woe to them that turn evil for good and good for evil. So it's not just Candace Owens. You have people like Ben Shapiro. You have people like Tucker Carlson, Andrew Tate. Hey, President Trump just as recently, well, former President Trump, all right, he's also going to the wickedness, all right, of the Biden administration, which they both, you know, they both Edomites, all right, they're both in the establishment. But what I'm saying is this internet thing, all right, is really, is really working. Sometimes it works to the white man's benefit, but there's other times it's also creating rebels, all right? People that are having independent thoughts saying, wait a minute, this shit does not line up with any sort of Christian values. And this world, this country was built upon so-called Christian values. It's a lot of the constitutions and things that established America, all right, is supposed to be rooted in the scriptures, all right? But guess what? The scriptures go against a lot of what this modern generation is creating, you see? And... Even one of the, um, I believe it was Henry Kissinger, all right, he said that one of the worst things that happened, all right, was pretty much when this internet thing came into being because the internet really, really pushed the, the prophecy of Isaiah, the 47 chapter, all right, into effect. Meaning what? Being in revealing the secrets or having the rivers look up the skirt of this woman, all right, to seeing the sins and all the bullshit that America does, all right? How is that done? The internet, all right, and a number one vehicle of truth is Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's prophets, the apostles and elders, all right, of Great Millstone, that have been using its internet and highways and byways, all right, to push and further the truth and wake up Israelites, man. Wake up hopeful, the hopeful elect, you know, and I'm not just going to say it's just Great Millstone, all right, but this Israelite thing as a whole, just knowing you, you are an Israelite, all right, you are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen people of God is is just a huge hole, all right, in a so-called white man's plans. But guess what? Even that was prophesied. Okay, the scriptures speak about the horn. All right, and the scriptures speak about this thing being accessible day and night. How is that done? Through the internet, man. All right, but it's heavy. It's heavy. You know, when you see in, when you see in conversations had by Candace Owens about what the hell is going on, the destruction in the back, the, the, the um, black family through welfare and playing on women's emotions, all right? And her even admitting, like, women are not good to lead. Women are not put in positions to lead because you can manipulate them through their emotions. And most the decision-making, all right, that really fucked America up happened when what? When women saw having a right to vote and she was bringing all that out and they were agreeing, all right? All right, because you could persuade the mind of women, just like, just like back in the garden. 
It was the same shit that was done in the garden, man. The philosophies, because the scriptures tell you that fruit that Eve ate was an actual fruit that grows from a tree, if you will, all right? It was parabolic, talk for lies, all right? Philosophies. You push it on the woman, and then the woman influ influenced the man. So it's the same tactic the serpent, that old serpent, Esau, Edom, been using going all the way back to the garden. Actually, I might title this that, man. He's been using the same tactic since the garden, which is manipulate the woman, playing her emotions, her so-called empathy, all right, to create these radical decisions. And then that makes men go off. All right, now it says, surely a turning of things uh, upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not right. That's what the so-called white man said. He made me not. There is no God. All right. And guess what? If there's a God, he looks like me. All right. He has the same viewpoints as me. It says, or shall the thing framed say that shall the thing shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding right. Like you don't, you know, like, like, like what we're going to. Okay. The Most High said in the book of Genesis, the fifth chapter, male and field, female created he them. That's perfect understanding of binary um, sexual dynamic, all right? Gender roles are two. So-called white man has destroyed that complex, or at least trying to, okay? Saying, you know, you could be this, that, you could transgender. Hey, and another thing, too, is you had this comedian named Jess Hilarious. She was going in on him. That's another thing, too, that these people are bringing up the, Carl the Tucker Carlson's, the Ben Shapiro's, the... Candace Owens and stuff. These people in the, in the world, if you will, all right, that are just saying, wait a minute, shit don't make sense, all right? If a, if a, if a man decides to get hormonal um, therapy, or not therapy, hormonal treatment, all right, to change his hormones to, to be closer to a feminine, that still doesn't make him a woman. He still has physical advantages over a woman. If somebody's saying, like, wait a minute, they ran a race, all right, and there's a transgender in there, that person that finished ninth is fucked up because they would have finished, I mean, so like that person that finished um, second really should have got first, you know? So these are things that people are asking, all right? Or even somebody trying to qualify a race, they could have got beat out because what? Because that person got put in there, all right? That's calling themselves another um, gender, okay? Now this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 all right in verse 2 it says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice right so if things were being run according to the scriptures you wouldn't be having these secret murmurs and shit and people saying what the fuck is going on people would actually be what it says rejoicing if the righteous were in authority but the, this this right here proves that the righteous are not in authority it says but when the wicked beareth rule the people mourn. Now, the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, tells us the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right? That word hand, yod, really re means power. The power. Who's who's putting all these unrighteous decrees in motion? Is it the people with power or without power? It's the people with power. Who are those people with the power? So-called white men. All right? He's the ones that's passing these things and in favor of these things. All right? Our people... Our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, their spirit click with the scriptures. They believe in the scriptures. That's like a lot of times you see these things and say, now, wait a minute, why am, I, why, am, why am I raising my child as my equal? All right? I should be disciplined in my child, but that's what happens. They raise their kids as their equal. The kids don't respect them. All right? So the little time you have with your child to discipline them and put your views in them, they're not going to respect you. Because they're telling you to treat them as an equal. You see, that's why you're not supposed to do that. Right? It says, um, but yeah, that's why the people are in mourning, man. For so much things. Like I said, the world is waking up. It was the formal title, right? The new title is it's the same um it's the same tactics as the garden. And you can't run the world like this, but for so long, people are going to start to revolt. And that's what they was also speaking about. They're saying, yo, you, you starting to see men raise up. Men are rising up. Men are getting pissed off. And when you get men pissed off, shit could get, you know, real chaotic. 
and it will. You saw what they did with Budweiser, right? When Budweiser gave uh, Dylan Mulvaney, which is a so-called transgender man, or trans woman, rather, I don't know, a man being trying to be a woman, all right? Yo, Budweiser stock tank because, yo, that's heavy men that drink them beers, you know? And they're not going to, you know, they like, you know, Budweiser has a certain audience, and the audience that Budweiser has is mainly men, and it's men that don't stand for shit like that. So the stock sort of plummet. Same thing happened with Target. You know, when they started pushing that shit on the kids and Adidas. Because the thing is this, it's like, yo, you taking a so-called, you taking a, an actual woman, all right? You taking position away from her because she should have been feeling that ad of, you know, being in a swimsuit or whatever. But now you got a guy in there with a bulge talking about you, Adidas, all right? Um, or what have you. You know, different roles that should have been filled by women have, have now been filled by men portraying themselves to be women. And that's... And that's what's causing a lot of the uproars, all right? Rightfully so. Slacking. If this thing is about equality, all right, and giving women power, all right, they say, wait a minute, you're taking away our power with your so-called um, movement, you see? And that's and that's Satan really being divided amongst himself because the so-called white man really fucked himself up because he's trying to put women up on a pedestal but at the same time, he's trying to put the, that community up on a pedestal, and guess what's happening? They're going against each other, you know? They say, wait a minute, how you talking this woman empowerment stuff, but you're taking women rights away and giving it to men, and they're seeing them as men. So you divided the woman, all right? You have some of them that's trying to be empathetic, but they're saying, wait a minute, I can't be empathetic to both. I can't be empathetic to a woman's cause and be empathetic to this cause because they go against each other. All right, and you already know Amos three and three says two can't walk unless they be agreed. So now that disagreement is being there, you see. So this is what's causing the world to wake up and say, wait a minute, maybe giving women all this power wasn't the best thing to do. All right, look at how fucked up our society has gotten. Look how weak we have gotten. I'm talking about even Edomites are saying this. They got memes out saying that men used to lie about their age so they could go to war and fight in a um, World War Two. All right, now they saying you got men lying about um. Damn, how the meme go? Shit, I can't believe I forgot it. But pretty much back then, men used to lie to be a part of war. Now you got them lying. All right, to I don't know some kind of faggot, faggot or shit that they they do now, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like they pretty much was more hardcore back then. All right, so called white man. You know, trying to bring down Israel, all right? A lot of, uh, he's also hurting his own, if you will, all right? I'm talking about these Edomites that have American pride and nationalists and shit like that. He fucked them up too, you see? Um, This is a book of, so like, let me get to it real quick. Let's turn. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 11. Because I had mentioned the secrets and stuff coming out. This is the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 2. It says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, right? So, the so called white man has put a cloak on all, his, on all his sins for a number of years, but now it is being revealed. All right? Again, you have the internet, you have the prophets, you even have whistleblowers, you have his own nation coming against them. All right. It says, um, neither hid, neither hid that shall not be known. Right. So, as we approach these latter times, it's gonna a lot of things are gonna start manifesting themselves. Number one, two, who the real prophets are. That's another thing the Lord's gonna have to manifest out there, man. Who the real prophets of the Yahweh Shem Yahusha are, and that's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, as we've been saying for a number of years. All right, so people are waking up. They're waking up to the tactics of this, the, ta the tactics of this devil. Okay, and expect more of that to happen. All right, ultimately leading to what civil unrest, pursuant to the book of Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. With that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat Hashem Rachakutash, the blinds to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and True Well. Citations to the hopeful elect out there. You are came to Zadakim that do do this thing in their most truth and sincerity. Shalom.